What's up everybody, it's Carl aka Carl Trump Tech, and today let's learn about the traditional grip. Cue the music. Alright, if you guys are finding me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe button down below that says subscribe. That way you are notified anytime I put out a new video in regards to marching arts, marching bands, drum lines, inner percussion, drum core, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Now, also make sure that notification bell is ringing, that way you'll be for sure notified anytime I put out a new video. So, subscribe, make sure that notification bell is ringing, and let's get the video. Okay, so I've done uh, traditional grip breakdowns before in the past. But let's do another one in terms of like my top three tips for really good traditional grip. Like if you're learning traditional for the first time, follow these three steps and your traditional grip, I guarantee you, is gonna be golden, okay? So the first tip I would tell you is make sure that you really understand all the fundamentals of traditional grip. So, you know, how are you holding the stick? Where are the uh, finger placements? What are the stick angles? All that stuff. And go through that checklist of stuff to make sure that you're doing things correctly. For example, right? So if you have this down, right, you're good to go, okay? Basically, it's just, you know, the wrist rotating like this, and yeah, the thumb kind of moving it like this, right? So if you can do that, you're good to go. Make sure it's at a good spot where it's it moves very easily, it bounces very easily, right? So that nice, balanced fulcrum point. So you don't want to hold it here, you don't want to hold it here, okay? A nice balanced point, okay? Just very similar to how you would do it with the uh, mash grip, okay? So now, once you have that spot, all right, put the second finger on top of the stick, the thumb on top of the second finger. Make sure those two fingers always stay together, and then make sure the stick rests on the first knuckle of the fourth finger, and then the fifth finger rests underneath that. A lot of people, like, when they first start, like, this tends to curl in like this, and it's like, it looks like that, right? So just make sure the hand stays open like this. All right, um, and then the middle finger kind of just is relaxed, not necessarily like you know super straight like this, like this. Okay, but just kind of curled and relaxed. All right, did I just flip the audience off? I don't know. Okay, um, so once you have that going, okay, so make sure that hand is open, the uh, thumb is on top of the first finger, has a nice good fulcrum point, and if you can do this, you're good to go. Now beginners, you know it's gonna take a while to understand all those things, right? And also, I forgot too, like stick angles, right? So make sure that you have your 90 degree angle or slightly less than, okay? And then you have a, a 15 degree angle pointed down at the drum that's uh, pointed at the center. May try to, you know, get the angles to be the same as the mash rip, not like this, right? Or like this, but have it be the same, okay? And if you can do that, go through your checklist, make sure you're doing everything correctly. And that is the first tip I would give you to make sure you have good traditional grip. The second tip has to do with just plain repetition and you know I talked about like beginners and how like it might take them a second a minute or two to kind of like learn all these things remember all these uh, finger placements and fulcrum points and all that stuff right so all you have to do is make sure you do a lot of repetition of just moving that left hand like this okay now every time you start make sure you go through a checklist of stuff just like you know tip number tip number one go through your checklist make sure you have good fulcrum, make sure that the finger placement is all correct, relax that middle finger, keep that hand open, right, and just kind of keep moving that, okay? Remember, it's more like a rotating motion with the left hand, okay, rather than like mash grip, which is more like a piston motion like this, okay, it's a left hand rotation, okay? So if you can do that, okay, then you have a really good solid understanding of traditional grip, but it's gonna take time, it's gonna take repetition, so do a lot of repetition. For a lot of students who ask me, hey, how do I, you know, increase my left hand strength and get that stronger. Well, you do a lot of stuff off the left, right? So one hand exercises on the left, two hand exercises start on the left, right? So you can do that with your traditional grip where you just one hand exercise like a bucks. Do it all day on the left. Ace, L-O-V. Okay, then once you get that, let's do some two hand exercises and let's do left hand lead. Okay, so that's gonna really help out. So repetition, repetition, repetition on the left hand, traditional. That's my second tip. 
My last tip, tip number three is, while I am very confident, very, very confident in my ability to teach any drummer how to use the traditional grip, at the end of the day, I expect those drummers who I teach traditional grip to eventually surpass me in my skill level with traditional grip. Like, I'm not gonna claim to be an expert in it, all right? Uh, I am a quad player after all, and people have asked that, like, how come you don't do traditional grip? Well, because I'm a quad player, okay? I understand the fundamentals, I understand the basics, I understand enough of it to teach Teach it to snare drummers. That's nothing I've never done before. So I am very confident in my ability to do that. But at the end of the day, because I'm not a snare drummer, if you are a snare drummer and I teach you traditional grip, I expect you to completely surpass me. I expect you to be able to do stuff with with a traditional grip, uh, with the kind of chops and dexterity and you know like um, execution that I will never be able to do because I just simply don't practice traditional grip enough as a quad player. Does that make sense? Okay. Now. What I really suggest you do is get more information from actual snare drummers, actual snare teachers. And one person I highly recommend is Wei Yuan Pan. What's up guys, William Pan coming to you from Cupertino, California. And he actually has a new video course coming out um, that really just teaches just traditional grip, okay? So if you want more information about that, there is a link in the video description. Make sure you click that link and then you will be informed about that new exciting video course, all right? So Wei Yuan Pan's left hand traditional course, okay? Check that out, that's my third tip. Absolutely seek out teachers who are actual snare drummers and who play, who use traditional grip for a living, all right? So, cool, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful. Hopefully you guys uh, learned a little something new about traditional grip. And uh, if you are teaching it to a drum line, if you are a beginner, uh, maybe you know you play traditional for a little bit and you know like uh, you have some concepts that you want to uh, internalize even more, maybe help out the freshmen and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments would like to add to this conversation, leave it in the comments below, okay? And if you have not subscribed yet, if I told you to subscribe, make sure you subscribe, like I said, so you don't miss a single upload, okay? And Make sure you share this with all your friends, uh, beginning snare drummers, people who are aspiring to play snare, show this video to them so that they can get the information as well. Okay, cool. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. I'm so, so thankful. Thank you again. And what you guys should totally do next is watch more of my videos by clicking over here and subscribing over here. Peace. Catch you guys on the next video.